everybody, it's Becca J. We're gonna mask. Lord, I need it. So, of course, you know, with my masks, they're usually things I have not tried before because I, I like, I like to share that with you. So today we have Shea Moisture, the Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask with Sanji, is that right? Mushroom for dull skin. And I'm not feeling dull, but I'm getting there. Like it's, will be soon. Um, this purifying mud mask absorbs impurities and removes dead skin cells that can dull the skin. A proprietary blend of organic coconut oil, shea butter, hibiscus flower, and Sanji mushroom extracts help brighten, soften, and deeply nourish skin. Leaves skin radiant and refresh. That's what I'm talking about. It has a weird, it's like got air in there and then it's squishy. Okay, apply a thin layer of mud with fingertips. Not doing that. To clean skin, avoid eye area. Keep on for up to 10 minutes. Remove with damp face cloth. Use weekly or as needed. This air bubble kind of worries me. And then you know. You guys, my brush, my foundation brush I've been using, and I've been talking about how I'm going to get an actual masking brush. I got three. This is the first one we're going to try today. Well, we're just going to try it. It's the e.l.f. Pore Refining Brush and mask tool. It says it's dual on it. Like, I can't see the light on my face. Now I have like dots. This dual ended tool is your perfect multitasking item to apply moisturizers, ooh, masks, cleansers, and scrubs while also gently cleansing the skin. The silicone spatula provides mess free application while the pore cleansing brush helps to gently remove dirt from pores. Okay. The directions say grab product with the spatula and apply to the center of the face and blend in if needed using the brush. How would you not need it? To cleanse the skin, slightly dampen the brush and work in small circular motions to massage. Rinse thoroughly with warm water after use. And that's it. That's all the information. So I'm guessing that is going to be the spatula thingy. I don't know. It's another thing because you know you guys. I don't, when I pick stuff out, I don't read what other people say. I don't read the reviews. I just kind of cliff note it. I look for something that has a higher star rating. But I don't actually read the details because I want to try it myself. Okay, this is cool. So on here, see if you can see it. This, see it looks like it would have been like a sort of rubber. This is going to be fun. But look, it's actually, let's see if I can get it. Like... Can you see that? It's actually got bristles. And then this end is fun. And it's rubbery. This is going to be fun. Because what did it say? I guess this is the spatula end and then grab product with the spatula and apply to the center place and blend in if needed using the the brush. I would think you just... Or you could put cleaner on the ends. Okay. I'm glad uh, we went over that a million times. 
opening. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know if I'm... <laughs> So that's what it looks like. And that might be what it smells like. It's got that look like it's going to be clay texture. Because we all know I love not the clays. That's that smell, you guys. Okay, what is what is it? So there's the hibiscus flower. Ooh, jasmine. I don't care for jasmine. Maybe that's what I'm. Um. And then it just says like a fragrance essential oil blend. I don't know what that. It smells like. Smell the jasmine, and that smells like candy. Like nerds. I don't know. Scoop. It's not, uh. I don't think it's pleasant. So this brush, oh, I already got a hair, it feels like the tip, the spatula is too flexible, maybe because I'm not supposed to be using that to actually apply, I'm just supposed to scoop and smear a little bit. See like it doesn't have, well maybe you just gotta work it, I don't know. You guys, that smell. This is not pleasant. I don't smell any coconut. I didn't think a hibiscus plant was sweet like that. It's a definite sweet smell, like sickingly sweet. I don't know about this brush either, you guys. I mean, look, it like... This is not going to be a happy video, I think, because this definitely has more of a clay texture than a mud. And I don't like clays because they... <sighs> kind of burn my skin. They dry them out too much. Oh. Go have issues. Oh, like we should just stop now because we already know it's gonna be bad. So I'm gonna try it with this other little end. Hey, now that is not bad. I think. I don't know. There's something weird with this brush. It looked cute. I'm getting messes everywhere. Like, I got a mess here. I got one there. I should have just gone to bed. Right? And it just... Like... See, and then this makes a mess. And like it just I, I, I'm getting nowhere with this I'm gonna try it though I'm just gonna do that now okay
old trusty. Look, yeah, see? That's better. This is going to be a clay. You can see how it separates right here. Just, I mean, it's so thick. And this is what? Isn't this like the second time I've tried this brand that's been deceitful? I'm going to say it. Yeah, deceitful. See? In saying that it's a mud and it is a clay. We'll have to see. It may not. <laughs> I don't know. This is not working out. And you know, I'm really, the smell is just. It's like, it's just too sweet, you guys. I'll have to try that brush on a true mud because this mask is giving me some trouble too. But it's sad when the foundation brush holds up better than an actual masking brush. That's what it was advertised as. That was a disappointment. Yep. Yeah. You see that? It's starting to dry. And here. Mm hmm It's gonna be a clay. Which means I, I may not leave it on the whole ten minutes. Because we've been through that. They hurt me. And I love you guys, but I got some limits. Oh, I didn't want it in that area. Okay. I'm just going to stop. I wish you could smell it too. You'd be like, oh. Because I'm like, I can't. It's on my face now. I can't run away from my face. Okay, um, I'll try for the 10 minutes, but I don't know. I'm going to go clean my brushes, go sit on the couch and be mad for a little bit, and then we'll see how it works out. Okay, I'll be back. So this is where I'm at. I don't even have words. Well, I do, and I have a lot of them, and I'm going to try to say them. Am I missing something here? Because it said... Mud mask. Mud. This is acting like a clay. It's got clays in it, I guess. I should read the ingredients, but I shouldn't have to because it says maybe I'm just missing something. So I'm going to go on the all powerful, all knowing, all seeing Google and find out about mud masks that act like a clay and what the deal with that is because when they say it's a mud mask I expect none of this the first time I tried this brand it was like the African black soap one amazing and like it was amazing I want more the second one did this and then it like made my lip puffy and swollen and made me fiercely red. Um, now this is the second time it's done this on this third mask that it's done a clay-like reaction. Um, I'm like, I'm not even going to try the brand anymore because I don't trust it. It lied to me. So here's a close-up of this mud mask. 
I'm not even going to try to crack it because it hurts. Well, some of it stayed wet. If I give it a few more minutes, it won't. So yeah, I'm going to be looking it up why a mud mask would act like this. Maybe y'all know. And maybe it's a user failure. And y'all can just laugh at me. But I mean, I avoid clay masks for a reason. I did buy one actually on purpose intentionally and I am going to be trying that. See it's even like that's not even coming out. I held the phone. My ring is not even. What the deuce. Okay. I'll worry about it in a little bit. Let's get to... Uh, yeah, and even the instructions, remember? Remove with a damp cloth. Like it's going to be easy to just... Choo! It is no Peter Thomas Roth. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I'm trying to add some moisture back into it. So that removal won't be so difficult. Because I'm not happy. Ooh. But now if it delivers, we'll see. It's just, like, I'm having to really... Okay. I had to scrub. Like, that's ridiculous. And of course, again, look, do you see? It's like tingling again, and yeah. It's poofing up, it's swelling. I do have to say, though, I don't, I do feel dry. But not like breaking dry. And my pores look cleaner. I don't know. I'm going to need some lotion. Something intense. Um, that was really uncomfortable to get off. Considering it was a bud. You know, if it was a clay, I would have expected that. I would have taken my precautions. Um, well, I knew it was anyway. When I opened it, I was like, yeah. Biscuits. I don't... I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the radiance, though. Or maybe that's just because I'm red. I don't know if y'all can see because the lighting is it's 
it's not natural because I'm doing this at night. Um, not as red as the last one I did. But that lip, yo. I'm going to re require a lot of moisture tonight. <sighs> well, it did what it was supposed to do. I do feel radiance. I have to say that. I feel a lot better now that that thing is off my face. Um, my lip. Oh. Um, just dried out. Yet glowing. So I can't, I can't give it back. Cause I mean, if you can do a clay and you can handle it, or you're prepared, like I know I got my heavy duty moisturizer, um, then this would have been great. But I was expecting something different. Like I'm, I'm done. Good job, Mom. Don't forget, click, click, like, subscribe.